Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Reactions video. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about what is the best units to put in there for the long haul. Now, you might not be including all these units just like I will be, but if you can find most of these units to put into your shard team or fragment team, whatever you want to call them, probably would be for the best, either for the card or for their stats or something. And there'll be no limited time units in this video, so don't be worried about that. I already know if I put some limited time units in, like, I don't have that, I, and I can't pull for that, so no limited time units. So let's get into that. It will, show up. It will not. Oh, yeah, it will. Alright, so this is going to be the top five for me, either for their card or for their stats, just because they're really strong, everything like that. So the first one is Olive, of course, because he's SLB. You definitely want her to be EX3 for the maximum damage output. Um, sometimes it's a little annoying when it's turn 3 and you want to do something on turn 3 instead. Uh, maybe use her finisher, but... EX3 is the best for her. Uh, her. Her card is not the best. I mean, it's not really anything you're looking for. It's just that you're looking for the, those maximum stats that she can get at EX3. And that she's SLB. Anyways. On to another number one. Number two pick is going to be Chizuru. For the card. The card is good. But mostly because she gets a lot of stats... And things like that, the EX3. Definitely probably one of the best non-limited time damage dealers in the game. And very versatile where she can be non-elemental chaining. Um, tag team chaining and things like that, for, for example. So very good on that. Next will be Tsuki Ko. EX3 is a must because her damage output is extrapolated if you go to EX3. She'll get a lot of things with that. Her card is just okay. It's pr it's pretty decent, but you're really going for the EX3 for the stats. Even EX2 will help you out a lot because you get her STMR. So, if you can't go to EX3 anytime soon, I mean, at least EX2 would be pretty good. Now, you may be wondering, hey, there's a non-global exclusive unit in this patch, in this, in this batch. And yeah, Tifa. By the way, you can exchange Tifa for Sephiroth, or if it's vice versa, pretty much. If you want to go for the long, long haul, and you had not pulled a lot of Tifas, put Tifa in. If you are close to EX3 on Sephiroth, then put Sephiroth in. It's kind of interchangeable, because they'll both be getting their buffs. Uh, Sephiroth sooner, Tifa longer, so that's kind of the point. So, for the for the fourth one, just pretend that Sephiroth is right next, right next to her. Uh, you can pick either or, but... Their buffs make them very, very powerful, and their leader skills, like the leader skills you can put them under, are make them even better. Both of them can be 14k plus, and actually Tifa can go to 15k, and probably even higher on global. So, there's that. And the last one, kind of a wild card, Wilk, and really you're only putting him in here just for his card. That's it. You're putting him in here for the card, I'm going to get it eventually. Uh, this is really all you're doing. You're, you're, you're just working towards that card because it's quite good. The stats on it, I don't even remember the stats. It's been so long ago. I'm getting, qu I'm getting quite there. I'm getting quite there. But uh, you're, you're putting him in there for the card, and that's it. Um, the unit himself, he has, still has 90% breaks and everything, which is pretty good and everything, but he, only got, he, only had, he didn't have a very long time in the spotlight. Um, his damage is just not that high. So really only bringing him for the chaining and the 90% and the break. Anyways... Uh, I wanted to show you guys my shard team, just, just, just to show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing anything like this, but um, this is my shard team currently. So with that being said, uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are gonna put in for your shard teams. What have you been working on this whole time uh, in the past half year of 2022? Because we have had the shard dungeon for quite a few months now, right? So. You should have at least EX1, EX2 on some units by now. Um, with the help of the VIP shop and things like that. So, hopefully there'll be some... I don't know if they're going to do it. Uh, on the JP side, they sometimes they actually do times 2 um, shard dungeon event. Or sometimes you can get, actually get 2 shards per unit. Or technically sometimes 4 if you are a tryhard. And you look, at the, look to see what you're going to get. Um... And I, I suppose I will show again, because I didn't really show it in my other video that I made. Um, how to do the shard trick. Some people didn't know how to do it. So the real trick is to start... Oh, we already have one, so good. Start one of your units in the Brave Shift form. 
And while it's shifting, well, because they have to shift back, and now this this menu will pop up again after after it's over. So uh, that's how we'll be doing that. I picked the wrong team. Whoops. Good thing I was paying attention there, right? Good thing I wasn't. Didn't, good thing I didn't make this at six o'clock in the morning. Um, so, so we have our um, Satan in his brave shift form. Nice uh, little burst there, but that's not what we're here for. And so the trick is wait, because it'll go away for a minute. It'll go away for like a split moment, and then it'll come back very quickly. There it is, and now you can check. See, I've got six, so that's probably not the best. You probably want to be going for seven. Uh, eight is like super try hard, but six is kind of like the minimum amount. Five, of course, is the absolute minimum. So I'm getting two on one unit here with the six. With the seven, you're gonna get two on two units. So that's kind of what you kind of want to work towards. Go any, I think going anything past seven is just a waste of your time. You're you're gonna be spending a lot of time trying to get eight. Uh, it's possible to get eight, I believe, right? But it's kind of hard. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that hard on it. I really wouldn't go that hard on it, guys. Anyways, that's the trick. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. Hope to see you in the very next video. Peace.